Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Kuma's Kitchen. And today what we've been cooking up is a batch of these savory ham and cheese corn muffins. Fantastic. So let's have a look at one of these. They're, they're chock-a-block full of cheese. There's bits of corn in there. There's bits of ham in there. And all made with cornmeal. So, <laughs> pun intended, a corny muffin. <laughs> oh. Mmm, these are absolutely fantastic. They're so juicy with all the goodness in there that you don't even need butter or anything. Obviously, you could throw extra butter on, but you don't really need it because we use butter in the baking itself. And mm, these are really quick to make. I'm just going to whip everything together. As you can see in just a second here, let's go in the kitchen and see just how quick these are to make. You just toss them in the oven and 20 minutes later, you've got muffins. Mmm, mmm savory muffins. See you in the kitchen. All right, so to make our savory muffins, we've got the ingredients here. We have uh, dry ingredients and wet ingredients for the muffins, and then we have the additions that are going in there afterwards. So first of all, let's go over the uh, muffin ingredients themselves. What I've got here is I've got a half a cup of flour. I've got two thirds of a cup of cornmeal. I've got here is a quarter cup of butter that's been melted. I've got two tablespoons of sugar. That's a, my favorite unrefined cane sugar. Any sugar will be fine. A half a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and baking soda. And then two eggs. And over here we have one cup of yogurt. Then once we mix all that together, we're going to add in, we have um, a half a cup of corn kernels. So that's about a half a can of corn, just rinsed and drained. Uh, over here, I've got three ounces or um, 85 grams of cheddar cheese. That could be any cheddar cheese. I had some uh, the red cheddar left over from another cooking recipe, so I thought, perfect, we'll use that. Adds a nice color, but white, just as good. Uh, over here, I've got ham, and this is four ounces or 110 grams of ham slices, which I've then chopped up into little, little uh, pieces. Right, that's it, that's all the ingredients. Let's mix the dry ingredients together. So we've got the flour, we have the uh, cornmeal, we've got the sugar, salt and pepper and soda. All I wanna do with those is just gonna take a whisk and just combine this a bit. All right, that's looking good. Okay, so that's the dry ingredients ready to go. Then I'm gonna take the bigger bowl. Let's get the wet ingredients in here. So I've got, first of all, this the eggs. We'll kind of beat them up a little bit, get them whisked nicely. So in goes the two eggs. Okay, whisk them up. Then I'm gonna add in the yogurt. Try to get all that good yogurt out of there. All right, so that's the yogurt in there. I'm gonna add in the butter. Again, we'll make sure we get all of that butter. All right. Okay, so now, uh, just gonna whisk that all together. Let's get these out of the way so you can have a closer look. So, just whisking this until it's nice and smooth. That's looking pretty good right there. Okay, now I'm just going to mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Just gently mixing that around until I get all nicely combined. Okay, that's all coming together nicely. All right, that's good. Now, in goes our addition. So we're gonna throw the ham in there. We're gonna throw that corn in there. The cheese. All right. Now I'll just mix all that up. So just kind of lifting and folding until I get it all distributed throughout an even amount of cheese and ham and corn throughout the muffin batter. 
And that's about it. Look how easy that is to make. Because now all we're going to do is going to take this. And over here I've got 12 muffin tins with... Uh, I like to line them with the paper cups. It's a lot easier. You can just butter your muffin tins, whatever, flour them. But, hey, get the little paper cups. It just makes life so much easier. So now what we're going to do is just divvy this up amongst these uh, muffin tins. Okay, well that's about basically even, I mean, not 100%, but close enough. Oh, we got a little bit overboard here, that's just going to burn if we leave that there, so. Mmm, that's quite good. All right, <coughs> we're going to put that in the oven. That oven has been preheating over there at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. These are going to go in for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm just going to keep an eye on them, I'll see them getting nicely browned. Um, and then we'll bring them out here. These will be ready to go. All right. See you in about 20 to 25 minutes. All right. These have been in my oven for exactly 20 minutes. They are absolutely perfectly browned and golden. That is looking delicious. Now remember, my oven is does run a little hot, so you might go a little over 20 minutes. Just look for this. You want to look for this beautiful kind of starting to brown around the edges, but not not too brown yet, just that beautiful golden. We call this in Japan, we call this kitsune iro, fox color. And when you got that fox color, that's perfect. These are gonna be absolutely delicious. Enjoy. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen and also clickable in this video's description, you can download and print out this recipe from the Snack and Appetizer Recipes booklet on Kuma's Kitchen's Patreon page. Just click the featured tag called Recipes. Now, go print out the recipe and enjoy savory ham and cheese corn muffins. And make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.